Hey, how's it going everyone? This is FaceDC and today I'm going to tell you guys how to make a couple million gold once Legion hits. Basically what you want to do is stockpile a couple items. I'm going to tell you which items you want to stockpile. Uh, one of them is going to be swords. I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. So when you go to the Oxen House, you're going to go to Armor, uh, Miscellanea, and you want to go to this, unless you want to buy tons of these and just collect them. The next, you want to collect a whole bunch of, like anything that's trading card games, and they go way up in price. That's going to be something you're going to want to stockpile tons of. Because all the new people, com all the new people coming to the to Legion and the Golden Fleece and coming out, Next, it's gonna be like X Mogs. These X Mogs are kind of sweet looking. They already cost quite a bit, but mainly anything that looks cool, I suggest you to stock it. Like these are crappy ones you could buy for like 200 gold. Just keep keep any X Mog you get. You can look at my uh, gold farm at me getting this one. It's easy to get. Take one in every 28 runs at least, and. You get the minions, well you get the gumplings, you want to collect those. Don't overdo it, but you want to have quite a bit of those. These are the void statulas. You want to collect those too for all the new people coming out, new players. And players who don't already have it. And you want to get left sucks. Why would you want to get those? And, well, mainly because you ha you get them from the gas. You know? Right? Um, there's probably going to be no one messing around, dicking around with the gas and when Legion comes out, everyone's going to be trying to level up to 100 and all the new people coming to Legion probably have no, no freaking clue what the gas is. So it's, it's a good idea to stockpile that anything from the gas and uh, gate, this is another thing, more left socks, cold fist drownings, you get those from the gas and the, the follower and the same thing. We're gonna collect those too. I have a good feeling those might go all the way up to 20, 40,000 gold right now. You can probably get them between 1,000, 6,000 right now. Buy those, collect them. Um, burning blades. You wanna collect those? Those are awesome for, for Mega Arson from the follower missions. You get these from the very beginning of the starting line for the Warlords of Journal, you want to collect those too. And Cinder Pops, you want to collect those too. They should be going up by quite quite a bit, but mainly everything from Agas and Pets, Mounts, Toys are going up. Chilling Card Game, X Marks, uh, Illusions probably, they will be going up because not many people are really gonna know about all of these like I already bought them all it kind of cost me quite a bit like I'd say a hundred thousand it cost me to buy them all those might be a good thing to carry on in Soul and Legion to all the new people coming yeah, that's mainly it and maybe the gone night hall since it's like one percent job chance right now collect those sell them in Legion you could go with trading card game mounts too. Those would probably be a ton in Legion. You know, like this one right now is already like 6 million in my room. And the other one's like 2 million. So it's good to collect those X Mogs toys. Any kind of toy. Because toys is going to be a new mount coming up. It's just for toys. It's like a 300 toy achievement. Then you want to stock gold get as much gold as you can keep it yeah the gold values and they go up let's say a, th a thousand gold you have right now is probably gonna be like double that in legion it's gonna be harder to get gold in legion so you want to get as much as you can now for later on you know and like they already are nothing most of gold farms like firelands but bot boss in the twilight all of them they're gold amount you get from them has been knocked. But 
it's something it's something to look forward to. Just get as much gold as you can, get all the toys, the mounts, the pets, the sorts. But you don't really need to get two catamarans anymore. Yeah, that's basically all you need to stockpile. And for those guys who are interested in making a couple of hundred thousand gold, I'm doing a giveaway only to my guild members. Giving away a hundred thousand gold to every guild member and art does not count. So you only can have a one thousand for all your accounts. If you have multiple accounts in the guild, just one one hundred thousand. Then I also have a magic booster giveaway coming out and with all the trading card game pets you can pick well you don't you don't you don't exactly get to all the thir all trading card game pets you can pick 13 pets you can get one of every type or you can just get multiple at the same type it's something to look forward to that's like three million four million golden legion if you want to keep them or sell them it's completely up to you but yeah the hundred thousand gold thing is guild only the magic booster and the training card game is for the YouTube channel. Also, to add on to the 100,000 gold to every guild member, every guild member is getting a Valor Sands, Sandstone J. Here's what one looks like. It's something you can ride around. <laughs> Shit, my bad. It's something you can ride, ride around, ride your friends. It's, like, it's kind of like that little recruit to friend mount, the little rocket thing. You know, it's the sort of thing you bomb. You know, your friend can ride on that too. Also, a really cool thing to do is recruit a friend. Like, seems like I got disconnected. But I've recruited myself like six times in different accounts. So I'm, I'll be getting like six thing, six rewards, like six amounts. Like, I'll sort of things. I can't say that. The benefits with recruit a friend level faster. Right? You get a 300% increase. That's like having a looks of the lap and mind on non-stop and you get it for three months grant grantable levels the guy you recruit can grant you levels if he levels faster than you so he could level all the way up to like 90 and grant you half of those levels he gets for every two levels he can grant you one level so you could have that guy level like more like seven tunes to 90 and grant all the other tunes now he doesn't lose levels when he grants he just gain levels he doesn't lose anything. It's kind of cool. You, you, can, you could probably pay your friend to level up and give you a few levels if you want. Then you get 30 days free game time, both the people, which is kind of wicked. So you, like, you give him the recruit to friend code. Like, it's like a battle chest you can give him right now. But you recruit him, you could give. You could buy the game from him, buy the battle chest from him if you want. You get a free month, he, he gets a free month. It's kind of sweet. And you get a in-game mount after the first month expires, but you have to buy a second month. If you doesn't buy that second month, you got you don't get anything. Now keep in mind, the guy who was recruited does not get the mount. Only the guy who recruited the recruit gets the mount. So let's say I recruit my other account. Only this account would get the mount. My other account would not get the mount. It's a common question. Lots of people ask me. But if any of this helped you guys out, uh, just go ahead and leave, them in the, leave a comment in the comment area. If you thought this was a good video, thumbs it up. And if you have any further questions, you can email me or add me in the game, phasedc, hashtag 1819. You can email me, phasedc101 at gmail.com or phasedc101 at gmail.com. You know, either one, I get like, multiple accounts, but I'll catch you guys next time in the giveaway videos and probably the gold guide videos and maybe some more magic tick videos. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.